All right, now what is going on? Wanted to give a quick update on these Epson WF 4734s that we use them for sublimation. Um, if you take a look at the old videos, we took this uh, printer right here and installed a CISS kit on it, or I, should I say in, in it. Um, so because we routed the tubes out of the CISS uh, tanks through the printer, along this back side of this wall, through the side of the carriage, into these refillable cartridges. Uh, so they kind of feed these cartridges and that feeds the printhead. Um, it looks really, really clean. Um, really, really proud of this install here. Um, this one, I just finished up and did it a little bit differently. It's a different type of ink tank on the side. It's uh, chambered and you, it's not self-priming like this one. This one, all you have to do is tilt this this way, fill your ink, and once you tilt it this way, the ink fills this small chamber, and you're good to go. Now you're primed. This one, you have to do something different. You have to kind of push the air through into the uh, dampers here, because. We use dampers from a EcoTank printer instead of the cartridges that we use in this printer. So this one we use refillable cartridges to complete the CISS kit. This one we use dampers from a EcoTank printer. You can kind of see the the black ink work in there. Um, I had to create a C-clamp out of some old scrap aluminum. I then, uh, with a number six uh, machine screw, through the side of the carriage, through the side of the scrap aluminum, nut it on the inside, then take a piece of tape, strap it down to this side to create the pressure needed to hold the uh, the dampers in place. That cardboard kind of gives it, uh, fills a gap underneath these uh, dampers here to keep them from moving as well. Um, this is what the dampers look like. So we had to modify them to fit in there. Also had to modify the carriage a little bit to get it to fit as well. But um, I just thought it would be cool to put some eco tank dampers in to a printer that's designed for cartridges. So again, both of these you can close down. And they, as I said in the other video, kind of look like they're supposed to be there. Um, really clean look. And they hold a lot of ink. Actually more ink than the... Uh, Eco tank 2700s and the 3740s and or 3720s and the 4700s holds more ink than those. So for a fraction of the cost, just got to do uh, a little bit of work because, like I said, they don't make the they don't make kits for these. You have to build your own kits for these. So um, just leave in the comments what you guys want me to do next. Unfortunately, this is probably the last video on these uh 4734s until i find something else to trick out and, and play with hopefully something will pop up on the epson website but in the meantime if you want to leave your comments of what you think i should do next i might do a video on installing the ciss kit on a uh, epson 7710 7720 get it routed all the way through the printer uh kind of like i did these right here um but yeah, I'll go ahead and put some footage on the end of this so you guys can see these guys in action. Thanks for watching. Yeah. <laughs>